Africa has long been known for its fine variety of wildlife. Here on the southern tip of the continent is one of the most romantic showcases of wildlife dating back to the dawn of time. Most of the dinosaurs we find here are from the time when it was all the supercontinent of Gondwana. So the dinosaurs were able to wander between South America and Africa and Antarctica and India. So we have very similar dinosaurs, but uh, ours still have unique species. Some of ours, as such as Heterodontosaurus, for instance, is so named because it's got different types of teeth. Uh, it's got molars and, and canines and incisors for a specific type of eating that was only occurring here in the South African part of Gondwana. That apparently is the largest prehistoric crocodile discovered so far, about 10 times heavier than the average version hunting in Lake Victoria. This is rather smaller, but may unlock yet more secrets to a lifestyle that disappeared in a very short space of time, 65 million years ago. It's unique because it's amphibian. It, ne it never been found before, and the scientists are busy studying the fossil to want to know more um, details about the fossil. And they suspect that it's um, amphibian when they look um, to the characteristics of the fossil. Fossil hunters in South Africa have kept themselves in the headlines for decades, most recently unveiling a human-like species branded Homo naledi. But scientists say the dinosaur discoveries are just as important. We all know about the, the hominids and the human remains from the Rift Valley, but few people know that we're also finding dinosaurs in this Rift Valley system. So it's much older, only around 235 million or so, but uh, again, we are finding more and more different types that are speciated, that are endemic to the Rift Valley system. Experts believe South Africa has incredible paleosciences heritage and that there remains much more species to be discovered. It does show that with Homo naledi and the new dinosaur discoveries, looking into the past could answer telling questions about the future. That was Andrew, CCTV, Cape Town.